Hello and welcome back. So uh, we're going to get on with the <clears throat> dial test indicator base. So I'll just take you through, quickly through what we've got uh, main materials wise. So just got a lump of uh, steel here. I'm sure there's some sort of special characteristics. I don't think it's mild steel, but make it out of what you want. I mean, ideally cast would be the the preference there a bit of cast iron you know then that way it doesn't pick up a, a like a neck a burr um, like steel does but <clears throat> that's what I've got so that's what we're going to use I've got some 10 mil uh, precision ground steel uh, drill rod or silver steel then I've got same again but 6 mil uh, some neodymium magnets just there a two mil brass bar or rod and then over here I've got a uh, just mild steel 10 mil uh, or it might be 12 mil plate and that'll make the clamps so we've got base arms clamps uh, this is going to be like the threaded um, bolt that draws everything together so snug it up into position and this is going to be the handle <clears throat> you could make the the mechanism you I mean you could use just an allen uh, not an allen head a socket a spanner on a nut to tighten it but this way you don't need any tools you can just twist it and it will hopefully draw itself together cool these if you've not messed about these new dinium magnets I mean these are little tiny 12 mil three um, they are just something else I mean they are super duper strong So I've cleaned the uh, lump of steel off now, the drop of steel, and uh, struck a centre line. And I'm just going to measure 14 mil either way of that, and then that's how far the magnets will end up up being. Um, so we're doing a bit of mark out. Cool. So that's the uh, mark out done. That's the centre point that needs knocking in now. All right, just got this bit of plate in here now and I'm just going to slice off a, uh, a bit to create the clamps. Okie doke, so uh, I've cut the bit down the middle you can see the join there. I've just super glued it together and uh, yeah, squared it all up, sort of thing. I've also marked and centre punch um, a clearance hole. <clears throat> so this will accept the arms. Um, yeah. So the next step then is to uh, drill that 10 mil. Cool, next step then is um, to tap this. So 
for uh, M6 thread, it's uh, five mil drill size. So we're I'm gonna drill all the way through five mil and tap all the way through. And then once I've split it down the middle, I'm gonna come in with the reamer and remove, uh, well, pre-drill it and then ream it <coughs> to remove the um, uh, threads and that on, on one of the sides. we go not the world's most amazing engineering feat but it's step by step you know just like lego one piece at a time get her done so <clears throat> next thing is going to be to uh put an m6 tap in there like this watch okay so okay so i've got some presto hand taps here and for those who aren't fully in the know uh there's the you know <clears throat> They come in a set of three of these hand taps and as you can see there's down here it takes a long time to get up to your full diameter of thread so this is your starting tap then we've got a second in tap which finishes your thread off and you can see the uh, it gets to a thread quicker than this starting tap and then you've got what's called a bottom in or plug tap and that goes so you do one, two, three for that if you were going into a blind hole. Uh, so a hole with no exit. Otherwise you just use the first two. And as this is a through hole, so a hole that goes all the way through, uh, we're just gonna use taps starter and second in to get us where we need to go. Like I said, I ain't got any proper cutting fluid. This is just gonna have to do. Lovely. Depending on what thread type you're putting in there. So we're going to put in, uh, what is it? M10 1.5. It's a different tap drill, drill tap size. So this is eight and a half mil. And that makes a significant difference. And um, when you come to the final fit of the thread, it can feel really loose or uh, it won't start. So yeah, there we go. Double check here. Drill tap size. Just going in with the second tap because the first one just there was too much of a lead and it just didn't engage any threads. Got just an end to end bolt here. And there is no play in that. Delightful. I'm just going to try and split this one with the hand saw, you know, just for a laugh, really. See if I can get it done.
next job then is to drill these four holes to receive magnets. Um, the magnets are 12 mil. So what I'm gonna do is drill the holes to 12 and a half mil. And the reason for that is uh, I don't want it such a tight fit that you're forcing the magnets down in there uh, either pressing them down and them shattering or um, you know getting an airlock behind it and then just creating like mad dramas I've, uh, I believe that neodymium magnets are fairly brittle so yeah that's why I don't really want to be pressing anything Okay, because I want to get this uh, video wrapped up, it's been dragging on, it's been a long time since I've put, pushed anything out. I'm just going to um, hot oil dip this mother. So we'll get the blowtorch out now, warm it up and uh, drop into more. Right, next thing to get hot blued is this collar then. Lovely and black. So there we go then. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, that actually functions. All squared away and corrosion protected. So here we go then, it's uh, time to fit the neodymium magnets. I'm gonna have them all face the same way, so whichever pole's facing up at the minute, I've got no idea. Let's say north for argument's sake, they're all gonna have north facing up. I don't know if it's, you know, it would have been better to have say two south poles and two north poles. Uh, but we'll see. If one of them blows out, then there we go. So thanks for sticking around and following this to the end. A massive thank you to the subscribers and anyone who's uh, watched this video. It really does mean a lot. Uh, I've got a hammer that I made somewhere similar to this one, uh, gobbed off ages ago about giving it away. So I think that'll be the next project, making a nice little box for that. I hope you all had a good Christmas and New Year's and uh, stay tuned. And uh, we'll get some videos banged out. Latest taters.